You look well rested. Did you go to parties? Did you do the whole schmooze thing? I, I did everything, but you know, it's running back week, so we're ready. Let's get it. <laughs> he did you it do, all. Usually after a, a week in festivities, I don't look to rest in Shams. We, no. We, 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 we do things differently, clearly. Yeah, cle I'm clearly. Still, you still hear me? This is still from Vegas. This Post -Vegas is still nasal drip. what I got going on. <laughs> this is it's still happening. Um, all right, <laughs> we we're going go, to get into the all-star stuff for a second, but we do have breaking news, a little scoops action happening. Uh, nothing like a firing on a Monday morning, Shams. What's going on? Jock Vaughn, fired by the Brooklyn Nets. He just signed a multi-year contract extension last February, but he is now fired. They lost by 50 points right before the All-Star break to the Celtics. We know this team has, has been pretty dreadful ever since really the new year. They just have not been able to win games on a consistent level. And yes, I think the, the play right before the All-Star break contributed, but multiple players, including Spencer Dinwiddie, who has now departed, Mikhail Bridges already there, they were pretty vocal behind the scenes for months now about how the offense was running. They felt like a lot of what, what Jack Vaughn was running was being run improperly uh, without structure. Jack Vaughn came into, this, into the year and said, we're going to run a free-for-all offense. And the team, from what I gather, has been pretty bonded on the fact that you know developing a hierarchy was important. And when they went into the, uh, the, the training camp, a lot of their offense was built around Ben Simmons and Oops. him playing at the one and him playing uh, at, at a high level for them. But throughout the season, he has been unavailable. Um, and so this is now the third coach Sean, under Sean Marks uh, since 2016. Kenny Atkinson, Steve Nash, Jock Vaughn. You had a Jock Vaughn interim uh, appearance multiple times during that stint as well. And so the Nets have a lot of questions. Who's going to be the interim Who's going to be the long-term head coach? They have Mikhail Bridges there. You clearly build around Mikhail Bridges, but out of Cam Thomas, Cam Johnson, Ben Simmons, who are you building around on this roster? I think Jock Vaughn's firing is just the tip of the iceberg for all the questions the Nets have. Um, Shams, <laughs> the unprofessionalism was just. <laughs> because when you said Ben Simmons, that got a reaction here. Well, hold uh, on, Shams. Hold up. What? Hold on. That's been a real thing that they were going to build this offense in Brooklyn around Ben Simmons. This offense, the, the offense in Brooklyn going into training camp was was clearly built around the availability of Ben Simmons. I mean, you just when you watch the games, the ball was in his hands. He was tasked to make wow. the plays. Surprise! He made it out of training camp. <laughs> Chalk was on. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that was a great plan, especially with him just being unhealthy. Right? You don't know if it was a great plan. Yeah, I, think you know. I mean. <laughs> this doesn't. This is the first time I'm hearing of this. That's why I think we reacted. Yeah, that like threw this. me. That the guy threw me hasn't for been a last year. He hasn't played. Saying. He's had the issues yeah. with the back. The other, you know, his mental health. So this, this was confusing to me, especially they got Mikael Bridges, who's clearly their guy going forward. For sure. Obviously, they have some pieces that they, you know, they should be competing more. What are they? They're, uh, they're. 21, 21 and 33, and, and the East is kind of wide open, so this could have been a team that could have made some noise. I think they almost rewarded Jacques Vaughn last year for just kind of getting through the whole debacle with the Kyrie sure. and Katie thing, and and now I think this is going to go a different route. Hire a Mark Dagnall type, hire a, you know someone like that where it's young, uh, not a lot of pressure to win right away to develop these guys, but it's a tough city to develop. Brooklyn, the New York, it's, it's a city you want to win now. You can get free agents. It's a great market, so... Right? Uh, it's, it's tough, but the idea of building the offense around Ben Simmons, I, I, yeah, I can do that. A 50-point loss, too, probably didn't help. Something. Is the timing weird? Like, why why now? Is it because of the 50-point loss? Why not before the weekend? Like, what? how's that work? I think the 50-point loss plays a part. I think just how the Nets have looked uh, ever since, really, January 1. This team just has not been able to win consistently. Uh, and, and this has been brewing in a lot of ways behind the scenes. The Nets just... They just didn't act until now, after the All-Star break, after trade deadline. But like Chandler said, I think we should give Jock Vaughn credit. When they had Kevin Durant last year, Kyrie Irving, this team was competing for the top seed in the East. Uh, from everything I'm told, I think Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving both enjoyed playing for Jock Vaughn and thought he, 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 did, he did do a good job last year. He did earn what he got, which is the full-time job. He got an extension out of it. Uh, but this year with this group, just was not able to have the same level of success. So he saw success. this coach. It's not like he's just in Turks right now, All-Star Weekend, just got shit canned. Like, like, <laughs> he, he knew this was kind of coming. There was conversations, I'm assuming, right? This isn't just I mean, out of the blue. I'm 21 Anytime and you're on a multi-year deal, though, it's, it's tough to yeah, get fired like this. And, and this is half a year after 
you know, you just get your extension. I mean, and that's my point time. is too, like when, a, when an organization hires someone like this and you have that team, like what are your realistic like, like expectations? Like, what do you, like, what do you think is going to happen when you have this Ben Simmons situation glooming over your head? When your best player is Mikael Bridges and you have some pieces around that, you can't really, you can't really expect. That's not fair to I expect. Thought, I, I, to, they to, probably thought they had enough. I mean, Mikael Bridges is, a, is, is one of and those they guys. Six last you bring year. in Spencer Dinwiddie uh, last year, who had a, a hell of a season down in Dallas. You thought maybe you were going to get that version of him. And so, and you got Cam Thomas, you, you know, you got the other Cam, uh, Cam Johnson. Nick Claxton is playing really well, protecting the rim for them. They had, they had some pieces. They probably felt like that was enough to, to, to be competitive in the East, and it just didn't get done. All right. So, if they're 11th right now, they're two and a half games back of being in a play in. Is there a shot? I mean, there's a shot just because who are the teams above them? Atlanta, Chicago, Toronto's kind of right there in the mix. Nah, yeah, they could. I mean, Atlanta gets in. Chicago I mean, gets in. I think there's a shot, though. I think they have enough talent here to win games. That's the problem. They're kind of in that gray area where they're not really tanking and rebuilding. Well, well now right. you just you just re you just reset the the, the table. Yeah, right? now you get, rid of your, you get rid of your coach. So now your players are unsure what the direction of the organization is going to be at this point. And you create some confusion. So I, I think this this puts them in a tailspin. Yeah, who do they bring in? Do they just keep someone that's on the staff now? Do they hire someone immediately? Do It's a tough situation. Yeah, what's the again, long play there? What is the long play? You don't know. Do you just try and shut down like your guys for the rest of the season, the rest of the next 30 games, and kind of try and get the highest possible draft pick? Who knows? But it's a sticky situation. Jock Vaughn, again, at least he's getting his money. I was going to yeah. say, I'm always happy when yeah. someone gets paid not to work. American dream. I love that so much. Uh, Shams, all right, we're going to talk a little all-star right now.